Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome back to live PGA Tour 2K21 gameplay here on the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at Golf Club Flamingos. This course was designed by the very talented Friend Bomber. Now, to my knowledge, this course is located in Benahavis in Malaga, Spain. I have seen some of the screenshots and let me tell you, the course looks absolutely stunning. So really cannot wait to get into this one. Let's take a look at the course settings. As always, we will be leaving everything at default. Fairways are soft, greens are normal, green speed is medium fast, time of day is morning, and the weather is over. Overcast. Let's take a look at the tee options. We do have three tee options. We are going to be swinging from the black tees, which are playing 6,197 yards. And as always, pin set numero uno. As always, guys, I cannot thank you all enough for the continued support on the channel. Every like, view, and comment truly is appreciated. We are so close to hitting the 5,000k subscriber mark. So hopefully, we get there soon. Of course, it's taken a little while to load in, so I can only imagine there is a good bit of detail in the course. My character is going to be sweating today. This is a shorts and t-shirt weather here in sunny Spain. But wow, look at this for an opening environment of a course. Wow, I have never seen those trees in the game before. I can only assume that he has used small bushes or something to create those trees. That must have took ages to get that look, but look at the course. As we progress, there's lots of elevation gains. But what a spectacular looking opening hole. Love the environment. So quite a tight fairway here. We're back on the master difficulty setting, guys. So just going to take a practice swing here. There's a red slope. So just need to speed this tee shot up ever so slightly. It's a baby slope. That is really being punished, though. It may kick left. Kind of just kick straight forward. We are going to be in the light rough. The light rough is fairly forgiven. Good lie here. We've got to navigate that bunker, which is defending this opening green. I cannot see myself getting close to this, but we are going to have to... Do you know what? I think six iron is going to be too long. Seven iron. I think we can just about carry this bunker with a win behind us. We do get the perfect. We've definitely carried it, but that's never going to sit down. I needed to apply a little bit of backspin there. But that is going to give us a good look for birdie on the opening hole. Green speeds are 154, so we're 18 feet out, breaking multiple ways here. I'm just favouring the left-hand side of the cup. So a good eagle opportunity here. That really is a, a short par 5 to kick things off, and I've severely under-hit that putt there, guys. Disappointingly... We are just going to kick things off with a birdie. A very scorable opening hole there. And we do kick things off with a birdie and move to one under par. So hole number two. This is going to be a par three. Playing 220 yards down 15 feet. I'm really in between clubs here. Ideally a 182 or something. 185 would be perfect. So just going to shape this and try and land it on that slope left of the pin and let it release out we get the perfect i just love the look at this course but that is really going to kick way past the flag stick as you can see why wow, these greens are absolutely firm what you're looking at for birdie. But this is a very makeable putt for birdie we'd love to kick things off with back-to-back -back birdies got to make sure we get the weight right here that should turn back the weight's good. Oh, my goodness. We just burned the right-hand side of the edge. Can't believe I missed that. But we do put that forward apart. We will remain at one under par. And we will move on to the next tee box, which should be a par four. It's a par four. Slightly elevated tee box playing down into this fairly forgiven fairway. This should be nothing more than a, a wedge into the green the seven mile per hour wind is going to hold us up tiny fast this one's looking okay off the team. but i just love the look of this course guys it's one of those courses you would expect to play when you you go on a golf and holiday it really is fabulous i don't think gap wedge is going to get there with the uphill elevation and slope at our feet so I'm just going to deal off this pitching wedge ever so slightly but the views out with the course are absolutely stunning, guys. 
Oh, that's a tiny fast, and with that, we will be long and left. Are we going to hold the green? No, I think we've just kicked into the first cut, but we will have a makeable chip-in chance from seven yards out here. Just on the fringe. Let's see if we can feather this one down the green. It's got a chance. It should turn. It should turn. How did that not turn into the cup? Wow. Look at the beads. Can't believe that never turned. Disappointed not to be at least two under here, guys, but we will remain at one under through three holes. And we are going to step onto the fourth hole. Looks like it's a par three. So downhill par three, playing 161 yards. I think with that slight four mile per hour wind holding us up, we're going to have to go full backspin on this seven iron. Just land this as close to the pin as possible. Anything right of the flag, the ball will disappear down the green. That should be good. We shouldn't be punished too much with that. This is looking good, you know. It should release out. Why wow, that ball sat down almost instantly. It's a fantastic shot. So we are left with a 12-foot putt. Slightly uphill. This one will gradually turn from right to left. Should turn, should turn, it does turn. Good read, good putt. We are rewarded with our second birdie, and we do move to two under par. But so far, what a fun course it is to play. The views are absolutely spectacular. So this really is a short par four. With the wind behind us, I think we may just kick on to the green if we can avoid the bunker. But with the wind in our face, we're definitely not going to get there. So tiny grey fast. That is going to take us just up short left of the bunker. And that should leave us nothing more than a, a flop or a pitch into this fifth pin. We are 56 yards out, so I think the pitch and wedge flop should just about get us there. We are on a slight downslope as well. It should add a few yards. We do get the slow 101%. Oh, that ball's dying a little bit too quickly for my liking. And I have left myself a lot trickier putt than I would have liked. Now, as you would expect with a Spanish course, with the weather, the sun, and these trees, you are going to experience shadows on the greens. This is very difficult to read. Hopefully, we can put this one in. No, that's going to break way more. I've totally underhit that early. What is it with me and these slower greens, guys? I am really struggling on the dance floor the last four or five rounds. My pattern certainly is my Achilles heel. So we are still only two under here. I think I was four or five under. No one could have any complaints. But we do move on to this beautiful looking par five. Look at this dog leg right. This course is absolutely gorgeous. I think we can just about take on the right hand side of this fairway over the top of the trees and hopefully we've got enough fairway to work with on the left hand side tiny fast so we will gain a good few yards here that ball needs to get down no we're certainly not holding the fairway hopefully it's just light rough it is just light rough so we're not going to be heavily punished we can comfortably reach this par five and two so the par five so far are really short just shaping this a little bit try to take off a little bit of distance just need to carry the bunker here and this is going to be good oh it's a slow that is going to come up short. I really needed the perfect there. If we hit the perfect, that would have been an exceptional golf shot because we would have landed it just short of the flag stick and let it release out. So let's see if we can splash this close and walk away with our third birdie of the round. Delicate shot here. Red fast, but it should have the legs, and that is going to give us nothing more than a gimme birdie from three feet out which we do convert and with that we move to three under par but really enjoying this golfing experience guys friend bomber put so much time and detail into his courses now this may well be drivable with a downhill elevation but this course is just gorgeous what a fantastic looking course aiming us down the left hand side that five mile per hour wind should straighten us out it should kick right and up onto the dance floor. It's done exactly that, so you can comfortably drive this green depending 
on which driver you're using and whatever wind conditions you are experiencing. But this is a monster putt for Eo. That's all right. We are 81 feet out. I'm just looking to lag this as close to the pin as possible. There we go. Just couldn't find the sweet spot of the vibration there. Tell you what, this has got a chance. It should turn. Get in. Get in. Oh, wow. That just about sums up my luck in the greens these past four or five rounds, guys. Fantastic putt. So close yet so far away. We do drop it in for a fourth birdie. So hole number eight is another par three. The par threes are fairly lengthy, but they're absolutely spectacular as well as challenging. So four iron should be made for this. I don't think we'll need the backstop. We get the perfect. Couldn't have hit that any better if I tried. I don't think we're quite going to reach the backstop. But we are going to have a good look for birdie here. This time from 14 feet out. Certainly a makeable putt. Just going left edge. Probably a few inches left of it. That ball turned a lot more, a lot more than I expected. Why? In all fairness, looking back at that putt, the beads are moving a lot quicker than they showed me on the original putt. But we do pick up the part, and we will move on to the final hole of the front nine in this gorgeous Spanish course. And this is a tricky tee shot, by the way. We are going to have to shape this from left to right. Just try to find... The right-hand side of this fairway, avoiding the bunker. Trees are in play on the right-hand side. Oh, it's a tiny grey fast, and with that, this should kick right, though. Surely it kicks right. That is a fairly tricky tee shot. Are we going to kick into the bunker? No, we just come up short. We've left ourselves a flop shot. Ooh, in between here. So I'm just going to go full backspin. On the 45 yard, the wind is going to assist us here. Oh, couldn't have played that any better. Get down, should spin. I think that just shows you how firm these greens actually are. We have left ourselves a fairly straightforward putt for birdie. Once again, we're 12 feet out. But some of these pins are so, so difficult to get close to. We do convert that putt. And with that, we finish a solid front nine. At five under par. Should have been six or seven. But look at this hole to kick things off on the back nine. This course is absolutely spectacular. Tough tee shot here. Setting us down the right hand side and just allowing the wind to move us back into play. Fortunately, we avoid the fast there. I think if we got even a tiny fast, we are in the drink. The course is fairly short. It's a fairly strategical course, guys, where you can't just be booming your drives as far down the fairway as possible. But let's see if I can execute a better flop this time. We do have a 7 mile per hour win behind us. Just deal off that there's a touch. It's a slight slow. It should kick on and release out for us. Go on. Go, go, go. Not a bad effort. We are going to have another 12 foot putt for birdie. There's very little in this, just going right hand side of this flag stick. Going to play this with a little bit of pace. And it's done exactly what it should do. And we do move to six under par. But this is one of the best courses I've played in a while, guys. The detail in the course is just second to none. It's such an enjoyable golfing experience. I mean, it plays as good as it looks. Look at that villages off there in the distance up in the hill. A lot happier with the swing time in today off the tee box. Yeah, Those tiny fasts and the slows you can live with. I think this must be the longer par five on the course. I'm going to hit driver off the deck, try and kick it up onto the dance floor. Oh, it's a red slope. It may kick back into play. It has done. It's not going to be a, an easy up and down from here, though. 
But I think they can flop this one close. And there's the reason why it's going to be a tricky shot. That pin is well defended by that slope. But we just need to find that slope. I'm aiming way right to allow for the break. Tiny fast. Should kick right. Is it going to check? That is a really good shot. Very, very happy with that. And that should set up our seventh birdie of the round from seven feet out here. This will turn a little bit more due to the way I'm going to play this. Don't want to overhit this one. Got it on the sweet spot. It did break. So it's a really good start to this back nine. We're actually on a, a trio of birdies here. Long may this run continue. We are seven under. Hole number 12. It's another fairly long par three. Slightly downhill. So five iron should be good here. Nine mile per hour wind's going to move us from left to right. We get the perfect. Oh, that wind's moving me a lot more than I allowed for. That's an absolute laser beam of a strike. Yardage was really, really good as well. But that is going to be a longer putt. This time, 32 feet out. Ball is going to turn quite aggressively from left to right. This is definitely just a putt that I want to get close and leave myself a good opportunity for the par. Tell you what, if this has got the legs, oh, it just turned off the last few feet. Didn't allow enough break. We do convert the par putt. And we will remain at seven under par. So hole number 13, it's another short par four, but I think the majority of these tee shots, this wind has been in my face, so the course is just playing that little bit longer for us. But there's another baby fast, I did push my swing light, hopefully it just settles down in the first cut, it has done, the light rough is very unforgiving, I'm in between clubs here, you know. I don't think Sam Wedge gets there. There is a backstop before long, so we may as well taking this longer shot on with a gap wedge and just going full backspin. So try to play the backstop here. Wind will move us along with a slope. Ah, oh, early. That is a huge red slope. That is our first real error off the round, or should I say costly error off the round. But let's see if we can just splash this one out. Get it close to the flag stick and walk away with the par. I've left that short, you know. Misjudged the yardage required there. But that huge red fast would have took a little bit of distance off us. So big par putt coming up here. It should drop. It does drop. So we managed to, to pick up the par after two poor shots. And we do remain at seven under par but hole number 14 is a wide open fairway here but look at the views i'm so impressed with these skinny fir trees friend bomber never fails to deliver in any of his courses look at that views there guys at the lake off in the distance absolutely spectacular that should comfortably check up oh wow i never expected to to get that distance in carry and well i apologize once again, just got to find that slope so we can afford to play a little bit of backspin. I think we should just about carry the slope, though. It's a red slope. We've comfortably carried the slope. That ball needs to check up. It hasn't done. I'll tell you something. That ball has came out a lot better than it suggested. I know we were probably on a slight downhill slope, but I really didn't expect it to come out as well as that. Fairly makeable putt from 19 feet, though. Not a lot of movement in this. Just going outside right edge. Oh, that's turned. And it's turned right into the heart of the cup. We do pick up our eighth birdie of the round. And we do move on to hole number 15, which is a short par five once again. But look at this tight area for landing the ball. Hazards in play. I think we're going to have to shape this just against the wind and try and find the centre of the fairway. Big shot coming up here. Oh, that should be good. Come on, ball. Turn, 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 turn. That tiny slow totally counteracted the shape I put on the driver there. 
and we have sadly kicked into the light rough, so we're definitely not reaching this short par four, eh, par four, par five, and two. We're just going to try and hack this out, the heavy rough with a three hybrid, and leave ourselves a pitch shot into the green. There's a perfect. That should release a good five or six yards up this slope. It's done exactly that. It's going to be another flop shot. We've got the security of being long here due to the backstop. Anything too short. We've seen the slope defend in the pin. Oh, we've played that well. That should bounce and then check up. Oh, it's short. Early. Really didn't want to come up short there. And this is another missable putt. The ball is really going to turn hard left here the first few feet. Then once again, straighten out. Just got to make sure we hit it. That ball didn't turn. That ball did not break left at all. You've seen the green grid at my feet there, guys. Wow. I've just found lately that the breaks and the greens just really confuse you. I don't know what it is. It's maybe just me and I'm overthinking putts because I'm struggling with them. But sadly, it's one of those things in the game that really frustrate you. So eight iron full backspin with a seven mile per hour wind should just be about good if we can execute the perfect that is. Oh, it's a grey fast. That will be way left of the flagstick. I don't even think that's going to sit down and hold the green. It has actually. So this is going to be a tricky putt from 34 feet out. A lot of movement in this putt. Just looking to lag this up as close as we can to the hole and walk away with the part. Yeah, that's going to come up short right, I think. It has done good effort, though. It is going to ensure a tap-in part. But what a golfing experience this is here at Golf Club Flamingos, guys. Please get out there and play it. It's one of those courses you really want to go out and play and experience it for yourself. It's got everything to offer. So hole number seven, severe uphill par four, tiny fast that's comfortably going to hold the fairway. I think every single tee shot that we have had, the wind has been in our face. Do you know that? I could be wrong. Someone will correct me if I am. So let's see if we can splash this one close from 31 yards out. Decent execution. Oh, that's came up way short. I didn't allow enough for the slope at my feet in that 12 feet uphill green oh early that's a huge mistake just wasn't fully focused on that shot there whatsoever it should run out oh we'd have liked to have got a little bit more run out on that chip this is a missable putt fortunately there's nothing in the break whatsoever it holds its line and we do drop that for the par but I've just made a few um, okay. mistakes in this round, guys. But we're still walking away with a respectable score and a master difficulty. Look at this for a final hole. Absolutely spectacular. Downhill par four. Really need to get the perfect here. Just shaping this a little bit from right to left. We do get the perfect. And that should leave us nothing more than a wedge. Are we going to find this slope? This should kick left. But this course really is remarkable, guys. I'm going to say it again. It's a course you really have to play to get the full experience. Just watching it on YouTube is not going to do it justice. Oh, that's a horrible slope at our feet. Let's have a little look at the green. Ah, going to have to zoom in a little bit. But there is a defending slope there once again. Yeah, just need to make sure we get up past that. But with these slopes at your feet, you're never sure what to do. See, I think that comes up short. We're going to give it a go anyway. It's a tiny fast. No, that's comfortably, comfortably carried that slope. We do generate a little bit of backspin and hopefully we can convert this eight foot putt for the birdie. That would finish us off nicely here in Malaga, Spain. It should turn. It does turn. We do finish with the birdie and we are going to shoot 
a 62-9 under par. But what a fantastic course, guys. Get out there and play it. If you did enjoy the round, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.